Today we're going to be doing a painting of one of our Colorado favorites, aspen trees. For materials, you will need a pencil, some water, paint and a brush, and you'll probably want a paper towel or something to clean up. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to create our tree trunks. So we're going to draw a line. The first line is going to go from the very top of the page up here, and it's going to go pretty much straight down to the bottom. Then we're going to draw another line next to it for the other edge of our tree trunk. And as we go down, this line is going to go a little bit more to the right. So we want to give the illusion that the tree is thinner at the top and it gets thicker toward the bottom. Then we're going to start at the bottom line here, point, and we're going to go back up, but this time kind of diagonal to the right a little bit. Then we're going to draw another line for that tree. And this one, again, try to make that line get a little bit wider, or that tree trunk get a little bit wider at the bottom. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our middle line here, and we're going to go up part way, and starting at the corner right there on our tree, we're going to go up and to the left because this first middle tree is going to overlap this tree that's behind it on the left. Then finish off that tree again with a, another line going down. Again, it gets bigger as you go towards the bottom, so it looks wider. Then from this point, we're going to add some branches to our trees. So the branches are going to start on the side, and they're going to go over diagonally, and then these are going to be thinner lines here than the tree trunks. Then we'll do one on the left side here, go up and to the left. Again, make sure these are thinner than the trunk lines. We'll put one on the middle tree here. Then we're going to add one to the left tree. We have more room here, so we can start it a little lower. Then this one that we draw is going to stop when it gets to the middle tree. It's not going to continue through it like that. Then we stop right there. There we go. Now we're going to talk a bit about positive and negative space. In art, positive space is the object or the shapes in the picture, while negative space is the area around or between the objects, kind of like the background. In this aspen tree picture that was done by a student, you can see that the black shapes or the area around the trees is the negative space, while the tree trunks themselves are the positive space. It's important to be able to tell which parts of your picture are the positive space tree trunks and which parts are the negative space background. If you accidentally fill in your tree trunks with black, you might have to start all over. So you can see here in this area is a negative space and this is, tree trunk is positive. So we have negative space here in this shape, then positive in this one. Negative space, positive space, just make sure you can tell which part is negative and which part is positive. So then what you're going to do is you're going to get your brush and you're going to add it in some water. Then you're going to dip it in some black. And we're going to fill in our negative space with black. Again, make sure that you don't cover or fill in any of your tree trunks. Those need to stay white. So we're just filling in these basic shapes that we see in between our trees and our branches. 
this is kind of can get kind of confusing so just go slow and make sure that where you're painting is actually in between the tree trunks so you're going to continue painting until you filled all of the negative space shapes in Then once it's dry, you're going to take a, a crayon or a black marker or something that's black, um, whatever you can find that's black, and you're just going to outline those trees and press pretty hard so that you can just kind of define where the tree edges are compared to the background. This just makes them stand out a little bit more. Then what you want to do is take that same black and we're going to make some horizontal lines. So you're just going to, with your crayon, you're just going to draw some lines here and there coming up from the edges in the middle, all different places. These are just like the uh, bark lines that you see on those aspen trees. A little bit on the branches too there. When you get to this point, stop. Listen very carefully. We are going to be doing splatter painting to add texture details to our tree trunks. Splatter painting is messy. You are going to want to cover your area with newspaper or take it outside. Whatever you do, don't get paint all over your tables and walls and furniture. To splatter paint, you only need to use one finger and gently pull the brush bristles back and give it a little flick, like so. There's no need to become violent like the Hulk and fling your paints as hard as you can. So here I'm just getting my brush wet with some water and put it in some black paint. Make sure it's really wet and then you're just going to start splattering gently. You'll see some of that those black dots get kind of all over your tree trunks. Again, keep the brush really close to the paper. You don't want to do this from very far. So you put your brush close and then just flick it with your finger. And do that until you've covered all of the tree trunks. Then we're going to do some finger painting. So you're going to take your finger and put your finger in the water. And then you're going to take that wet finger and just rub it in the yellow paint. Because these aspens is fall, so they're going to be yellow. So then what you're going to do is just kind of push your finger down and make little dots. And those are to represent our leaves in our picture. Um, you're going to have to keep doing it over and over. Uh, so that you can keep getting more paint on your finger. Your, your finger doesn't hold paint like a paintbrush would. Now if you guys have, uh, this will work with the watercolors as you can see, uh, but if you guys have acrylic paints at home that your parents would let you use, acrylic paints do work better for this. So you're going to fill all the negative space around your tree trunks with some leaves. You want to make sure to keep the leaves at the top and then at the bottom part of your paper should be empty where there's no leaves. Then for our last step we're going to add shadows to our tree trunks. So we're going to take our brush and we're going to go into a little bit of uh, blue here. Get it wet, get a little bit of blue and then we, we want the blue not to be really strong so we're going to wet it again after we put it in the blue. And rinse some of it off. Then, as you can see, it makes kind of a light blue. The more water you have, the lighter the color gets. So I'm adding more blue, more water. Oops, that's a bit dark. That's okay, we can kind of spread it out a little bit. There we go. So you don't want like a really dark blue, just a light blue to represent the shadows 
on one side of your tree. We're just filling the right side here. Make it look like our trees are, have shadows or the light's coming from the left a little bit. Just to give it a little bit more depth, make it look a little more realistic. Then we're done. Hope you guys have fun making these aspen trees.